Select the panel of the shutter to which you want to add the ventilation grill. Navigate to the left hand panel and select the panel tab. Herein, select the construction icon at the top and against panel hardware, click on add. In the carousel that opens up, open the category drop down menu and select utility. Normally, the ventilation grill should be found in this particular subcategory. However, by default, it would more often than not be added, in which case we will need to add it from the admin warehouse. To do that, go to your design dashboard and click on go to admin portal. Herein, select catalog in the left hand panel, click on hardware and select utility. Herein, select add from warehouse at the top right. And in the modal that opens up, check the box against ventilation grill and select apply. Now you can see that the ventilation grill has been added from the warehouse onto the catalog. Go back to your design and refresh the page. Now, when you select the shutter, select panel once again in the left hand panel, click on the construction tab and try adding a panel hardware. You can see that when you select utility now, there will be a ventilation grill added. Select the thumbnail of the same and the grill will be added. We can change the size and position of this grill as well. Click on the grill directly and in the left hand panel, select furniture slash light unit tab. Herein, we will now open the dimensions and the position of only this particular grill. We can go about changing the height by typing in the desired value into the height field. We can also try changing the position of this as well. Let's say in Z axis, I am typing in 100. You can see that the ventilation grill has been lowered down accordingly. You can even change the material of this if you like by opening the meshes and materials drop down menu and selecting the change material icon against the listed material. From here, you can select the appropriate material.